Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to configure Cisco SD-WAN zone based firewall configuration using a security policy. This is the uh, topology I'm using for my lab demo. I have a CH4 router which is nothing but a CSR1000V router running Cisco IOS XE SD-WAN image. It has got two LAN uh, interfaces, one with uh, 192.168.6.1.24 and 60.1/24. Both these machines uh, under these two subnets like uh, 6.4 and 60.11 are right now able to access the uh, server 172.168.10.2 under uh, DCVH2 and uh, they are both able to um, access to the server using uh, SSH. Uh, we will create a, a firewall policy um, which will block the SSH access only for the users under the subnet 192.168.6.0/24. The SSH access will still work for this uh, PC 192.168.60.11 because uh, we are not blocking the subnet. So these are the two machines under uh, CH4. One with the IP address uh, 192.168.6.4. The right side I have another machine that is with the uh, IP 192.168.60.11 so right now I am able to SSH to 192 sorry 172.168.10.2 that is the server IP address you can see I am able to SSH to this machine Also, let's do the SSH from uh, the left side PC. Yeah, from here also, I'm able to SSH to the same IP address 172.168.10.2. Uh, so once I apply the uh, security policy, the SSH access from this uh, machine will be uh, blocked. Up. That is from this one. 192.168.6.4. Now let's configure the zone based firewall policy. This is my uh, vManage dashboard. In there go to configuration, click on security. Now click on add security policy. Click on custom. So here create a new firewall policy. Let's give it a name. Firewall one. Let's create a sequence rule. So let's match uh, the source data prefix. So in my uh, lab setup, I'm blocking the SS access for this particular uh, subnet 192.168.6.1/24, and uh, click on source data prefix. I already configured a data uh, prefix for that 192.168.6.0/24. So select that one and match the protocol. So here we can match the protocols. You can see the list of uh, available protocols. So I am just going to click on search and type SSH and then select SSH. Now click on action. Default action is dropped. So I'm going to leave as it is and click on log. So we are uh, matching the source prefix list and uh, matching this uh, protocol SSH and logging it. That's the first rule click on save match action and rule then create one more rule go to action but default it is dropped so click on inspect now save match in action and in the top you can see uh, the default uh, rule is to drop uh, enabled so I'm going to click on action pause now save match in action in the top we have a uh, source and destination uh, zones which we need to map so click on apply zone pairs click on this uh, source zone so I'm going to create a new zone here zone list name I'm going to give VPN time in my lab I have only VPN 10 so I'm giving VPN 10 only here and then save so now we can select uh, the source zone as VPN 10 and destination zone also I'm giving 10 only because uh, my destination prefix also in VPN 10 only 
I'm going to give save. So we have selected the zone pairs, we have created the rules. Now save the firewall policy. So our firewall policy is saved. Now give nest. So nest is asking to configure the intrusion prevention, the neural filtering. So I have a separate video for intrusion prevention and neural filtering. We will see in that one. I'm just giving nest now. So this is the security policy name. And then save the policy. So now we have successfully created the uh, zone based security policy. Now this policy we have to attach to a, a device template. Let's go to configuration, go to templates. So our device is uh, the CH4. So we can see CSR CH4. There is a separate device template. I have to go to edit. Click on additional templates. In addition templates, in the last option, you can see a security policy. Click that. You can see the uh, a zone per security policy uh, that which we have created. You can see here. I'm selecting that one and click on update. Thank you, next. Check the config difference side by side. So anything you see on the green side, that is the config that you're going to push. That is for the prefix 192.16.0.24. I'm going to click on configure. So now this configuration will be pushed to your uh, CH4. Yeah, now the configuration is successfully pushed to the uh, CH4. Now let's verify uh, from our uh, uh, machines, that is uh, 192.16.4 and 192.16.11. Uh, as per our uh, zone-based firewall configuration, now from 6.4, uh, this PC, if I do SSH uh, to 172.168.10.2, the SSH should not work. But from 192.168.60.11 machine, when I do SSH to the server IP, it should work. Now I am in the machines, uh, in the left side I have this machine uh, 6.4 and in the right side I have 60.11. So as per our policy we are blocking the SSH for this subnet. Let's try the SSH. So you can see that SSH is not working now. But I should be able to ping this IP 172.168.10.2. So the IP reachability is there. SSH we have blocked. Now from this machine, let's do the SSH to the same IP 172.168.10.2. Okay. Now SSH is still working for this subnet. So our policy is working as per our uh, security uh, rule. Now let's check in our vManage, go to monitor, networks, CH4, under the security monitoring click on the firewall and you can see the hits uh, we had for our uh, zone based firewall here. So that's the procedure how you can configure a um, Cisco SD-WAN zone-based firewall blocking or allowing a particular protocol or application uh, from within the same uh, local network or to a remote uh, uh, destination. Thanks for watching the video. 
and uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so that you will get updates when I upload some new video. Have a nice time.